This is my hometown where I grew up. In almost every way, a very unremarkable town, just one of many in this region. Some would even say that it's a boring and ugly one. Definitely not a place one would have in mind when it comes to making images. And yet, I love doing photography here. I love it because it's hard, because it's challenging, because it's different, because it's pretty much just me out there, because it's unique, because it's real. I'm going to show you the spot where I made one of my favorite images from. And no, this is not Yosemite. There are no majestic peaks, stunning alpine lakes, rugged coastlines, or crazy rock formations around here. This is just a roundabout just outside of my uh, hometown. I walk by here, if not every day, very, very often. This is part of my daily morning walk. But it took me months to see this image because it required the right light and the right conditions. This is the spot right there. And this is the image. That's the house that you can see in the photograph. Uh, Rachel and I joke about that house every time we come by here because it has to be one of the ugliest buildings in town and that is a very low bar but that day everything was perfect here the fog the sun breaking through the fog the overgrown weeds here in the foreground and the most important thing me being here ready with a camera in hand and paying attention to my surroundings If you get to travel, by all means, keep doing it. But if you don't, or you can't very often, try embracing the local, what we have access to right now, instead of longing for trips to faraway lands. Why wait when we might have all we need right in front of us? Let's ask ourselves, what can we create here today? We need to give ourselves permission to create art where we thought there was none. After all, art is everywhere, if you say so. This is easier said than done, though. We are so used to where we live that we stop seeing. Day after day, the same streets, the same buildings, the same faces, the same smells, the same sounds, the same sameness. Our senses are numb, barely working, so we fail to see what's in front of us, what's been in front of us all this time. It can be, no, it is very frustrating, but also so rewarding when we do find an image. And even if we don't find any, the practice will force us to pay more attention, and it will make us better observers. Take it as photography training to develop our photography muscles. I had to move overseas and come back a few years later to really appreciate my hometown for what it is. And that is whatever you want it to be. So whatever you are right now, look around, but really, really look. Can you see?